Hello friends, let us try and understand what is center of pressure and aerodynamic center for an aircraft. Now first let us understand what is center of pressure. We know that as the aircraft moves we have negative pressure at the upper surface of the aircraft and positive pressure at the lower surface of the airfoil and this pressure difference is what which is responsible for the lift of an aircraft. Now we know that as the aircraft moves uh, there is a boundary layer formed on the wing and due to this boundary layer we have shear forces at the surface of the airfoil. Now due to the interaction of shear forces and pressure forces we have a resultant force R. So let us consider this airfoil. Now we can say that due to the interaction of uh, pressure force and shear force there is a res resultant force R acting at some point. The point along which this, the resultant force is acting is known as center of pressure. Uh, if you consider any other point on this airfoil, let us consider a point A near the leading edge. So at this leading edge, there will be some moment M as well as this R. If you consider any other point, maybe somewhere here, again, there will be some moment as well as this force. But at center of pressure, since R is acting along the center of pressure, there will only be the resultant force R which is acting because of the interaction of pressure forces as well as shear forces. So we can understand that center of pressure is that point along which resultant force vector due to the pressure distribution and shear distribution acts and it is that point on the body about which aerodynamic moment is zero. Now let us understand the pressure distribution on an airfoil how it varies with angle of attack. Let us first consider an airfoil at some angle of attack zero. Now at zero angle of attack, the pressure distribution is something like this. Negative pressure on the upper surface and positive pressure on the lower surface. So the resultant force R acts along center of pressure. Now as the angle of attack is increased, the pressure distribution changes and hence the resultant force R also varies and the location of the center of pressure also varies and it tries to move a little forward. If we further increase the angle of attack to say 12 degree, again the pressure distribution will change and center of pressure will move further forward. However, if we increase the angle of attack further to let us say 18 degree at which probably the stall will start when so we have a completely different pressure distribution and we can see that center of pressure has moved quite near the, to the leading edge of the wing. So from this we can conclude that as the angle of attack is changing, pressure distribution is changing and due to the change in pressure distribution, center of pressure is trying to move near the leading edge of the wing. So we can say that center of pressure is not a fixed point and it tries to move towards the leading edge of the wing as the angle of attack is increased. Now coming to the aerodynamic center. Before understanding aerodynamic center, let us consider an airfoil at zero angle of attack. Alpha is equal to zero degree. Let us say the resultant force R is this and this is the center of pressure when angle of attack is zero. Now consider a point A along the leading edge of the airfoil. So the moment at this point A would be R cross XA where XA is this distance. Distance between center of pressure and the leading edge of the airfoil. Now if I increase the angle of attack, let us say the angle of attack is now increased to 5 degree. The resultant force R will now change to R dash and the distance between the leading edge a and the center of pressure will change to say x a dash. So now this moment will be r dash cross x a dash. Now we can see that as the angle of attack is changing, the moment is changing because the magnitude of the resultant force r and the magnitude of the distance is changing. Now this happens throughout the code. You can take moment at any of the point and you will observe the same phenomena that the moment is changing as the angle of attack is changing. But there happens to be a one point known as aerodynamic center. So along with the, the change in moment and the force is such that the net moment remains same. So we can say that at aerodynamic center moment MAC will remain constant. Why it remains constant? Because the combination of R and XA is such that as you increase the angle of attack or decrease the angle of attack the net moment remains constant so we can say that there is no change in moment with respect to angle of attack and we can say that delta m by delta alpha 
is 0. If we try to non-dimensionalize it, we know that m is equal to half rho v square s c into c m. If we know these all are constants, half rho v square s c are constant. So we can say that del c m by del alpha is 0 at aerodynamic center and we know that as the angle of attack increases cl increases so we say that this is equivalent to saying that do cm by do cl is 0 so these are the two mathematical equations which basically define aerodynamic center so we can say that aerodynamic center is that location at which do cm by do alpha is 0 or do cm by do cl is 0 angle of attack typically lies at c by 4 for subsonic airfoil and c by 2 for supersonic airfoil so these are the typical locations of aerodynamic center so good thing about the aerodynamic center is that it does not change its location as the angle of attack changes whereas center of pressure keeps on changing its location as the angle of attack changes so i hope the definitions are clear and the difference is also quite clear to you if you have any doubt please write in the comment box if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends with the whatsapp groups of your classmates so that your classmates may also understand these concepts thank you goodbye